my first trip out of town with my now husband Kenny was to Destin, Florida. And while we were there, someone said, you really want to see something beautiful? Drive east from here. We drove down 98, we got to 30A, and we turned down 30A, and I just couldn't believe it. I describe them as 15 jewels. You know, one is a diamond, one is a ruby, one is a sapphire. In other words, they're, you know, they're, they're almost like delicately set, almost like a ring would be. It's just a jewel. I mean, look at this water. Look at this. It looks like diamonds with the sun on the water right now. The water is emerald green. So, you know, it's almost like you're looking at a field of jewels. And, and the further you go down 30A, you know, you might see a pearl and then you, you know, the sun glistens off of the, the diamonds. I feel calm usually when I'm there. <laughs> I feel peaceful. And I think that's really what's, what's special about them being right there on the beach you know, the ocean is always moving. The Gulf is just moving, moving, moving. And you can watch that from a, a body of water that's completely still. I think that leads to like a very introspective, contemplative kind of space. If you drive down here and you're driving down 30A and you come to the curve where Western Lake is and it just opens up and you, you know, you. Most people pull off the side of the road and, and just, yes, their, you know, their mouth drops and the sun's going down and the, and the colors are purples and greens and blues and, and lavenders. I mean, it's one of the most spectacular places that you will really ever see. Whether I'm fishing, whether I'm paddling, whether I'm swimming, uh, whether I'm diving in the Gulf, uh, I, I feel this closeness to a very special place. I feel as though I've come home. Sponsored by the St. Joe Community Foundation. Supporting the arts, education, health care, and the environment.